So what can you tell me about the art studio? Like, how long has it been open? The White Rock location's been open for the last 12 years now. We have a, a different style of teaching. We don't teach how to paint by numbers. Yeah. Like, we work individually with all our students, and as you must have noticed, like, everyone's working on a different project, different medium. They just come in and tell us this is what they want to learn, and we kind of work, you know, what they want to do. Yeah. So it's not that everyone's just copying one painting and, you know, going out with the same painting. Yeah. So we enhance on their skill on whatever they want to learn. With two locations in South Surrey and Langley, Neighborhood Art Studio is unique that it offers individualized art instruction. This is a body of students. They come every Saturday. Um, I've had a lot of them here for several years. Some of them are a little newer. Um, basically, we have projects that they've all agreed to work on together. You can see everybody's working on different mediums. They're all different age groups too. So. Uh, my role as an instructor is to basically work as a coach, um, a mentor, a um, tutor working one-on-one -on -one with each student. They've all got different skill levels and different abilities, so uh, I kind of have to tailor my instruction to meet each of these students' needs. And so we got, uh, as you can see, we got some painting, we got some students learning how to do portraits here, we got some students that are doing sort of like fantasy graphic art, and some other students over here that are working on their projects as well. So you may be wondering, can everyone do art? As long as you want to learn how to draw and paint, yeah. um, someone who's not motivated, then it's hard, but we can teach all the ages, an 80-year-old, a 4-year-old, so yes, we can teach everyone how to draw and paint, as long as you're passionate about yeah. learning art. Art is important for everyone. Like It just um, stimulates your brain and helps you with creativity, helps children in problem-solving skills, and. Overall, it just enhances your performance in any profession or anything that you're doing with children, even in their academics at school. The teachers at the Neighborhood Art Studio are very encouraging and ensure that the students are being challenged and keep progressing. I love the teaching I get here. I love the feedback. I look at how I've improved over the years. I've made so many friends while I've been here. I just love it so much. So while you've been here, what have you learned? I personally never did portraits until I came here. I started learning how to do portraits of people. I learned techniques on how to do noses and eyes in certain areas in a person's face. Do you have any art inspirations? Absolutely. Christina Webb is one of my favorite artists. She is amazing. I look at her art and I find inspirations through her. I've learned how to draw portraits and draw realistically. Yeah. So I used to just draw cartoons, but right. now I can draw like very realistic things and people can tell what they are straight away. So how have you improved from your first kind of cartoon drawings? Now I can draw anatomy proper properly and I know how to use proportions. I now know how to draw hair and make things look 3D and very realistic. Do you have any art that you're especially proud of? Well, I actually have this one here I'm quite proud of. It's of uh, Katniss Everdeen, and yeah. it's my, I'm very proud of it because it's the first portrait I did that really turned out. And people come in here all the time and say, oh yeah, that's Katniss. A big thanks to the Neighborhood Art Studios for helping me realize that maybe I'm a little more artistic than I thought. This is Ben signing out for Gen Y.